In 2004, V&A museum staff found an unidentified Egyptian cartonnage in their storeroom. Detective work revealed that it belonged to the Petri Museum and had been moved to the V&A for safety during World War II. When the upper body cover arrived at the Petri a few months later, it was immediately put on the endangered list. So the Friends of the Petri Museum sponsored Barbara Wills to come and conserve it. Not only has it had a, uh, a chequered history, it's also been very much interfered with. Do you see this sharp line along here and down the side? It's been chopped off, and I don't know why. So we're hoping to find some other pieces. So with a bit of luck, we'll be able to reconstruct it in a more three-dimensional way. Organic conservation is painstaking work. With 30 years' experience, Barbara loves bringing the puzzle pieces together. If I were to adhere this, I would use, in fact, a slightly thicker adhesive. I'd look at the back and I'd see what kind of join can I get there. And it may be that I need to fill it slightly because the substrate has lost contact with this particular layer. But this looks like a good join. Barbara will follow a simple methodology. An object like this, one can make a general estimate for. But the truth is, it's very difficult to be specific because when I first came to look at it, covered with dust, on its original petri paper, and there was no way I could look underneath. And since then, we slipped it onto a sheet of glass, um, balanced it between two tables, crawled underneath, and had a look at the underside. And it's actually in much better condition than I had ever hoped. Areas in bad shape may need consolidating, but this can be tricky. I like to avoid applying any kind of consolidant if I can. And if you're going to add layers of extraneous materials, materials that just don't really belong, then you run the risk of interfering with the object story. So you can see now uh, the consolidant has more or less dried off. And that surface now is stable enough. Next, Barbara reattaches broken pieces. Now this is a piece that I found detached in the bottom of the box. And to help it stick, one cleans underneath. And I'm very aware that this is the problem area. As Barbara works, a student assistant has been able to identify some of the colours. Red lead, Egyptian blue, organic copper green. These have been painted onto the cartonnage, which is made of paste, and adhered to woven linen using animal glue. Just uh, today, I was cleaning her eyes, and I found just that wonderful, lifelike detail of the tiny little red dot in the corner of the eye. And that hadn't been visible before. And little details like that just give a life to an object, which otherwise would not be there to that degree.